ए गाइस नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द कोन क्लच कोन क्लच सो व्हाट इज कोन क्लच it is basically consist of two surface in an inclined form से एंगुलरली पोजिशन विच आफ्टर एंगेजिंग ट्रांसमिट्स टॉर्क and power from one shaft to another shaft so now let us draw the diagram the diagram is it basically consist of two cones the inner cone and the outer cones and respectively two shafts in order to transmit power here it is a input shaft and output shaft now since it is the outer cone let it be fixed outer cone outer cone inner cone now let us consider an elemental area delta l of length delta l the whole length is b now let it be delta r
since let it be r1 and here outer one that is let it be r2 r1 r2 so the elemental area delta r and of length delta l now let w be acting in negative direction or left direction and the angle made and the respective angle be alpha let me show you let it be alpha and the normal pressure acting here now let us draw the other other view of it Now let us, this be elemental area, here the outer cone, the inner cone and this be elemental area of delta A that is 2 pi r delta L where this be delta R from center R inner R outer now let us write the various elements You let R1 be inner radius RO outer radius where R equals to mean radius of frictional surface in contact and B be the width of frictional surface and here P be normal force normal pressure between the contact surface contact surface now from the diagram we can see that from diagram we can see that sin alpha is equal to 
डी आर लेट इट बी एलिमेंटल डी आर अपॉन डी एल Now let me draw it for you. Since it is alpha, and the elemental area is B R, the small e angle is D L hypotenuse. D R D L. Therefore, sin alpha equals to D R upon D L. Where D R equals to elemental radius dl equals to elemental width and da equals to elemental area now from this geometry we can say that dl equals to dr upon sin alpha dr upon delta r upon sin alpha Now further solving with uniform Beer theory. Uniform Beer theory. Normal force. on elemental area normal force normal force on elemental area is basically given as normal force and elemental area that is delta a writing the delta work normal work done equals to normal pressure into elemental area where where elemental area and normal pressure here pressure equals to constant throughout the surface area therefore pn equals to c by r that is for uniform wear rate pressure equals to constant and elemental area here we get elemental area that is this one 2 pi r delta l where delta l is dr upon sin alpha you can see over here dl equals to dr upon sin alpha so we substitute over here now combining them together we get uh c by r into 2 pi r delta r upon sin alpha where r and r gets strikes out 
equation become 2 phi c delta r upon sin alpha that is delta omega n now component of axial force can be given as delta omega equals to delta omega n into sin alpha here we knew that delta omega n is this part and let it I write for you component of axial force it is component of axial force that is delta omega n into sin alpha now substituting the values we get Two pi c upon sine alpha dr into sine alpha. Now this sine alpha sine alpha gets strikes out, and the remaining part is two pi c delta r. Now integrating now integrating for whole area we get W equals to integration of R inner to R outer delta W that is R inner to R outer 2 pi C delta R is equivalent to R two pi c since constant R inner to R outer delta R is going to be two pi c R outer minus R inner. W equals to 2 pi c r outer minus r inner after integrating this part you can see over here now finding the value of c just take the whole terms in the downward direction that is C equals to W by 2 pi R outer minus R inner. Now finding torque on elemental area that is delta T equals to delta F into R that is the elemental torque equals to elemental force into radius R where delta F is given as delta W n into mu and delta W n we get from here it is 2 pi c delta r upon sin alpha then r as it is and also we get value for c that is from here W by 2 pi R outer minus R inner. That's all.
Now substituting all the values we get 2 pi mu w r w r delta r upon 2 pi r outer r inner into sin alpha now striking out these two we get the answer mu w r delta r upon sin alpha r outer minus r inner so this is delta t Now, again, integrating elemental torque to get the whole transmitted torque now integrating we get torque equals to torque equals to integration of delta t it is from r inner to r outer that is r inner to r outer that is mu w r delta r upon sin alpha r o minus r inner where you can see this whole part is constant taking them out we get mu w sin alpha r o minus r inner integration of r inner to r outer r delta r now integrating this whole term after integration we got r o minus r o inner r o plus r inner upon 2 now substituting this in the main equation we get mu w sin alpha r o minus r inner into r o minus r inner r o plus r inner outer inner into 2 now striking out this we get the final answer this torque transmitted equals to mu w r outer plus r radius inner upon 2 sin alpha so this is the torque being transmitted So this is the torque being transmitted to between the two clutches and shafts. Thanks for watching.